When we first moved to uh, Nashville, I met a gentleman named John who was selling some, uh, some substrate and we became fish friends. Now I'm headed off to his house and he's going to take me to a, a, a fish store that he says he's been dying to show me. But he, he, won't, he won't tell me the name. He, he's kept it a secret. And so um, I'm going to have to get over to his house and get into his car. And uh, then he's going to reveal the, uh, the, secret, the secret fish store that, uh, that he wants to introduce me to. So let's go ahead and drive out to a town called Nolansville. And uh, let's visit John. And let's take a trip out to this, uh, to this secret fish store. All right, so I'm at John's house and uh, here in Nashville. Are we technically in Franklin, John? Uh, we're in Nolensville. In Nolensville, okay. Mm -hmm. One of the most beautiful drives I've ever had in my whole life getting here. And maybe on the way back home, I'll, I'll shoot some footage and share it with you. But uh, this is John. John's 125-gallon uh, aquarium that he's working on. And, and John, why don't you tell me, because if I say it, they won't believe me. Why don't you tell them how, how much you paid for that aquarium? Uh, with everything, just the, the tank and the original stand was $200. I found that on Craigslist. $200. That's crazy. And uh, he put some work into cleaning it up. But look at this thing. It looks brand new. He used a little bit of that barkeeper's helper on it. And uh, I think he, he paid an extra 50 bucks and got an F FX4. FX4. And FX4 and, and some lights. Yep. And, uh, and then he ordered up the stand. Beautiful. Matches the tank perfectly. What are you going to put in this thing? Uh, I'm thinking about going with the aggressive uh, cichlids. You know, so like the, uh, like the uh, Jack Dempsey, the uh, Green Terrors, uh, something like that along that line. All right. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have an aquarium shop we're going to go to? Yes, yes, that's still uh, uh, confidential. Once we get on the road, then I'll share that, and then uh, we can talk a little bit more about it. All right. Off to a secret, uh, a secret aquarium shop. I'm anxious to see this place. Let's go. But first, we're going to go upstairs, and we're going to check John Jr.'s aquarium. Let's take a look here at, uh, at the future of fish keeping here and take a look at the aquarium that his son has going on. So this is, uh, is it John Jr.? Yes. So this is John Jr.'s tank. And uh, John, can I, can I put you on video? Yeah. Yeah, you can? Okay. So how many gallons is this tank? 56. 56 gallons? That's an awesome tank. Can you tell me tell me the fish you have in here? I know all of them. I know a Cara. Uh, now which one's your Cara? Blue. That's a beautiful fish right there. Glory, Severum, Keyhole, and then catfish in there. We like to call them whiskers. Whiskers? Yeah, strawberry cichlid. There's a strawberry in the back corner? Yeah, strawberry cichlid. Uh, Yo-yo loach. Oh, I love yo-yos. They get pretty big, don't they? Yeah. Uh, bristle nose Picassus. We name her Polly. Holly? Polly. Polly. And I see a Severum in there. Oh, is that a green severum? Yes. They're going to get pretty big. Mm -hmm. This is a great tank. You're doing a great job taking care of this. And your dad says that, that you put some plants in the in the filter. Was that to help with the nitrates and the... And filter? the algae. Smart. Because you took away the food that the algae eats. You see it up here. It's thriving, huh? The plant's doing really well. It's oh. already got a new branch. A little pothos. A pothos. I like it. Well, you're doing a good job, man. This is the future of fish keeping right here. <laughs> <laughs> and good job, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now you can take me to that fish store. You're just teasing me. Nope, nope. Well, off we go. <laughs> okay. I really love driving around Nashville. The wide open spaces are just so pretty. Never get tired of it. All right, so here we are at the pet shop. Pet shop. <laughs> How's that for a Pretty indescript. It's the Franklin. You can see behind me there. Franklin. Franklin Pet Shop. And they've got birds and reptiles and fish. It took us about an hour to get here. Let's go inside and see what they got. Like is usually the case in the, um, 
in the Tennessee pet stores that I've visited, it's very, very clean, very well, very well organized, and the staff are very friendly and attentive. You're greeted by a nice sized pond that has some good sized koi and some very nice um, stingrays in it. I've never seen rays and koi together, but they seem to be doing fine. Some pretty good sized koi there. Some bamboo growing in the middle and the usual assortment of betta fish. These are in separate enclosures, not individually filtered like you might see at the aquatic critter, but the bowls look very clean and well taken care of. They have cages and really supplies for, for the most popular pets, such as hamsters and reptiles and birds. But a lot of the store is dedicated to fish. Certainly if you have a community tank, this would be an, an excellent store to, to visit. I saw some community tank fish that were just absolutely beautiful and uh, a pretty good assortment. If I had the, the uh, circumstances set up, I would have picked up one of these electric blues. They had some very pretty electric blues and the price wasn't bad. You can see here, I'll show you a few tanks at once. You can take a look at just the variety. There's quite a few tanks here. and I don't want to take up all of your day showing them to you. Here's a little albino lab. Very pretty fish if you're keeping Mabuna. The tanks were all clean and well kept. Something I always look for in a pet store. And as I mentioned to John as we were walking through, I didn't see a lot of sick or dead fish. I don't think I saw any actually. This type of frontosa, I believe, it's the type that has the extra bars. Probably my favorite of the frontosas. They had a nice selection of uh, reptiles. This little dragon here was definitely the, uh, the king of his domain. They also had a very impressive uh, snake. Look at this guy, he came out for the camera. He was a real ham. Very pretty. A little bit on the expensive side. I think it was over 200 bucks for this guy. But boy, was he gorgeous. Nice selection of plants, as well as substrate and other decor, as you can see there. Certainly everything you would need to get a planted tank going. Good selection, two freezers actually of frozen food. This was one of them. Nice selection of grummy. Some platinum grummies that were absolutely gorgeous. Good selection of kissing fish. Some tiger barbs. Near the front of the store, they had some brackish, a brackish tank, and in it they had some of these puffers. Really cute. Decent size. Including one of my favorite puffers, of course, which is the figure eight. Love the way they move and the way they interact. I'd never seen these before. Sort of a snake snakeskin tetra. Very pretty fish. And a community fish. They had some real teeny rasboras and a type of panda, almost an algae eater down there I'd never seen before. John sort of fell in love with it. Nice mollies. And other types of live bears. Very nice selection. Again, if I had a live bear tank or community, this would be great. Look at these. Uh, Beautiful fish, male back there showing off. It's a sailfin, sailfin molly, I believe. 
nice assortment of guppies, including what I think are a couple snakeskins in there, some hatchet fish and some cardinal tetras. Hatchets are just so unusual. They had the normal assortment of the glowfish. I consider this a a, a great a great uh, segue fish into into fish keeping. They certainly attract the children and and they look like candy. Very pretty. And I think if they uh, if they work as a sort of gateway into the hobby, I think it's great. They even had some some betta. And look at these. This looks like a box of uh, a box of hard candy. Such unusual colors. They even had some barbs that were part of the glowfish. Beautiful tetras here, including a very unusual upside down catfish that you don't see too often. Here he goes. Look at him. What a cool fish, huh? Right before he touches down, he flips over. Nice selection of tanks. Pretty much anything you need here, including if you want to pick up a parakeet, you can. John circled back around and uh, decided to go ahead and pick up a fish for his son's tank. Yeah. Now, we usually have the pandas, but they're going to be a whole lot smaller than these. So, we're going to figure on this. So. No, this Which one are you getting, John? The Pandagora. Pandagora? Oh, that, that odd looking. Uh, yeah. That's a unique looking fish. It is. Pretty cool. There's a couple. We've got a couple in here. I'd like to pick from them. They're under the log. You said you want the biggest one? Yeah, the biggest one you got there. All right, let's see. They do. That's a cool looking fish. Well, that's a good size yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. 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 They're under the log. This is their favorite spot. So if you have a log in your tank, that's where they'll probably go. Great friendly service at Franklin Aquarium Pet Shop in Columbia, Tennessee. Definitely worth the drive. I made the mistake of circling back and taking a closer look at the Mopani Wood, and I, uh, I, I couldn't help myself. I ended up picking up uh, four pieces. You couldn't beat the price at nine, about nine, ten bucks a piece. Look at that beautiful driftwood. That's gonna look great in the new aquarium. So we headed home. And uh, this was definitely a fun trip, uh, definitely an, uh, a worthwhile afternoon. I thank John for taking me and introducing me to this store that I had no idea even existed. So if you're anywhere near uh, Columbia, Tennessee, uh, just make a point of visiting the Franklin Aquarium Pet Shop. Great selection of community fish, some African cichlids, uh, some South American um, cichlids as well, some of the New World cichlids, and uh, also, uh, some birds, bird supplies, fish supplies, reptiles, and reptile supplies. So uh, kind of a one-stop shop if you're into pets. And I give this store definitely a, uh, a very high rating. I really enjoyed my visit there. And I thank you for coming along on the trip. And be sure to uh, comment, rate, share, uh, subscribe and hit uh, hit that notification bell if you care to tells uh, tells YouTube you're enjoying the channel encourages them to recommend the channel to others and I hope to see you on Saturday for cichlids and coffee it's just a real fun live stream with a great group of fish keepers all right that's it for me thank you and goodbye <music>